This is the Intermountain Healthcare Ironman 70.3 St. George North American Pro Championship. You know, Sarah Crowley has made her training base there, uh, so course knowledge will be key on this very, very challenging course today. Our professional women get underway here at Sand Hollow Reservoir. I think the way sport's moving and social media and branding and promotion, it's really important to have something that you sort of represent. There, oh, the sun okay. comes through quite nicely. I kind of realised that there were people doing that really well and then some that weren't so much and I sort of saw that it was equally as important as the, the racing and the training and everything else was to be able to promote yourself uh, in a way that's comfortable with you. When I started working with Sarah I had one shoot, we wanted to do a little bit of a promo for her bike and I told her to be in a exact spot at the exact time and we shot a little promo video and we got all the shots we needed relatively quickly and straight away that sort of like built a bond between us about he's a professional, he's actually on my level of what I do in my sport. After we built that trust we've been creating more and more and now we're pushing the limits all the time on shoots. She finds it really interesting about the creative side of it too because sometimes it does help to turn her brain off from triathlon every now and again, which is fantastic. I'm private, I don't really enjoy doing a lot of this stuff, but you learn to do it and you learn that it's part of your job. You know, you can fight it as long as you want, but if you actually really want to go to that sort of next level of being the well-rounded professional athlete, that it's, it is a full-time job and it is a business, then you kind of need to like embrace that. We had a meeting at the very beginning with a coach and the first thing he said, he said, anything that's not training and winning is losing. But he also does understand that the money does lubricate the, the system, so you can't be in a place like this if you don't have the income to get here. I obviously have the goal to achieve great things from the sport. Um, in order to do that, you need a coach and you need sort of a branding team or you need someone to help you with that. <laughs> Each of those corners kind of get bigger and they grow and they separate and they like pull and push and it's just a matter of being able to manage all of that in a way that is makes it sustainable for you as an athlete. So as I go through the images, I kind of look for facial expressions about aspirational, um, head looking up, not down, um, looking for that sense of adventure. Basically, I just go through and select the ones, just the ones that tell that story. <laughs> the creative process is fascinating to me and so that's been really fun. You influence, but you're definitely not an influencer. An influencer goes out and takes a photo because they want lots of likes and they want regrams and all these things on Instagram and they want to be known for that. I worked in business advisory so my skill set is much around you've got value here, you need value there, and we're gonna match that, make synergy, this is gonna work. And having that creative person that's got that same uh, understanding of the commerciality around that, but with the creative background as well, makes that really work. I think that one moment that you can capture in time was never there before. It always drives me to go out and shoot, spend more time and shoot that next image that's gonna blow people away. Social media is always like everyone's shouting and no one's listening. It's all in your face, it's all the time, it's quick. An image that engages more to the viewer and is a bit more relatable and makes people feel a lot better about what we're doing, it's, it's a win. Becoming a more of a global athlete, it becomes not just relevant in a sense that you're needing to put out a public perception of you with branding, but also you actually need the resources in order to actually achieve the results it's really there to, for me to be able to fulfill everything that I need to do contractually in a really good way to make it, um, you know, a brighter future.